Yeah. So I'm going to quickly introduce a uh, work which is called a linear reinforcement learning algorithm for non-stationary action in a recommender system. So when we do a bit testing, most of the time we assume that there is one single action that is the best, and we have to find this action in order to play it all the time. So in order to find this action, going to split the population. A part of the population will see only version A and only A, and the, um, and the other part of the population we see only B and always B. Then we wait for a while, and the end, at the end, we compare the performance, and we say, OK, version A gets an higher performance. I think this is my best action. And I will show this, uh, this, uh, this action, so this, uh, this creation, for instance, to, uh, to everybody and, and always. Here we argue that uh, this assumption is false, and there is uh, an impact of past action on the future uh, action performance. So there is an optimal cadence of the different actions that we have to find in order to have uh, a better performance. So this kind of behavior can happen in different uh, applications, but here we are going to focus on the application on recommender system. So for instance, a user can get bored of how a recommender system works because of the, the interface, or because it's keep, uh, it's, uh, the system is, go is really good to do something in particular, but it is good at the beginning, but then uh, get the user bored. Or on the contrary, at the beginning, it might take a while in order to uh, to get to know the system, so the curiosity will increase, and so the performance of the system will increase. But after a while, the user will get bored, and the performance will uh, will decrease again. But if you wait and don't show the system for a while to the user, the performance will uh, will increase back. So in order to um, to model this behavior, we are going to consider a set of actions. So from one to k. So here k will be the number of recommender systems that we want to uh, to test. We're going to define a lookback window of W that will define a step, uh, a state, sorry, of the last W action that we have shown to, uh, to our user. And based on that, we can define a recency function that for a given, a given state and a given action will give a penalty in one over t at the time, te uh, the time steps where we play this action. So we have, if we have pulled this action a lot in a recent history, we're going to have a, a, high, um, a high value for the recency function. And based on that, we're going to assume that the reward of the, uh, in, in these states of the next uh, action will be a linear combination, combination of the different power, power of this recency function. So for instance, if we take uh, d equal to 1, we only have linear shape, so only increasing or decreasing interest of a, of a user. But if we increase the value of d, we can have more complex shape, like increasing and decreasing curiosity of the user for this particular action. So in order to validate our model assumption, we look at the movie lens data set, where we look at the mean rating that I've given to a uh, to movie for a specific uh, genre based on the, the previous uh, rated rating that the user gave on this genre in the, in the past. And we see that for the action, uh, for the action genre, if the user has rated a lot of this uh, of this kind of uh, movie in the in the recent history, there is be a decreasing uh, performance on the, on this action, on the yeah, on this action. But on the drama, we have the uh, another kind of shape with the increasing curiosity at the beginning and then a decreasing uh, decreasing performance. And so we see that uh, we are able to fit this kind of behavior with our uh, linear assumption on the on the reward. So in order to find the optimal cadence of the action, we are going to use uh, MDPs. So why MDP is just not linear bandit? So uh, first, because the sequence of, con of context will be affected by our action. And also, maybe taking the best image at arm at each time step is not the best policy, because sometimes we would like to take a slightly suboptimal action in order to let other action recharge a lot and win a lot in the future. So we're going to have an MDP with a policy that we have to, we have to find. And so in order to, uh, to find this policy, we are going to try to, uh, to fit the parameter theta of our reward function based on, uh, on the previous pool we have done so far and compute confidence interval on this, uh, on this parameter. And so we are able to compute um, an optimistic value of the reward in each state and action. And so based on this optimistic uh, uh, value of the reward, we can compute an optimistic policy that we are going to play for a while and update this from time to time until, uh, until convergence. 
And then we were able to prove that if we follow our policy with the right parameters and the right frequency of update of the, of the policy, we are able to uh, achieve uh, such uh, a rugged bound, which is uh, only uh, linear in the number of, uh, of, um, of action, where other policy could have uh, exponential uh, dependence. So we test our algorithm on uh, several uh, data sets, but one of these data sets was a habit testing uh, data set of Criteo, when users have been exposed to both version A and B, and so we defined a, a size window of, uh, of 10, and in each state, we were able to compute uh, click probability on each of those actions. Then, when we're gonna try to, uh, to estimate the performance of a model, uh, when the model we, uh, we try to, uh, to show a, a specific action in a, in a given state, it will receive a click that follow a, a Bernoulli distribution with this probability that is unknown to, uh, to the model. We also give the true value of this uh, click probability to Oracle in order to compare our algorithm, again, an optimal uh, Oracle and also a greedy Oracle that uh, go only for short-term performance and look at the best action to play immediately. And so uh, in this experiment, we were able to show that our uh, learning algorithm was uh, much better than fixed policy that only play A and only play B. And we are also better than the greedy policy that's uh, so that we can see that uh, it's good to go for uh, long-term performance and not only uh, short-term uh, performance. So to conclude, we uh, propose a, a way to estimate the influence of a recommendation strategy and maximize the reward on the long term. That is a better strategy that's to go for a fixed action uh, policy or a greedy policy. We propose a novel learning algorithm, which is called uh, linear serial in order to learn such, such a policy. And we prove uh, a smaller regret than a standard uh, reinforcement learning algorithm. And we are also able to prove the success of the method on uh, several experiments. For future work, we propose to, um, to, uh, to work on the correlation between action and the impact they can have on the, on the reward. And also personalization of, uh, of the algorithm that you have a specific instance of the model for each user. And also try different model for the reward, which will not be necessarily a linear function of uh, the recency function, but other kind of function that can maybe be more suitable for click probability, for instance. Thank you. And, uh,